Good morning. It's Monday, June 19th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Waiting Room of Caring. And our scripture is 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, where the Apostle Paul writes, Dear brothers and sisters, after we were separated from you for a little while, though our hearts never left you, we tried very hard to come back because of our intense longing to see you again. We wanted very much to come to you, and I, Paul, tried again and again, but Satan prevented us. After all, what gives us hope and joy, and what will be our proud reward and crown as we stand before our Lord Jesus when he returns? It is you. Yes, you are our pride and joy. Finally, when we could stand it no longer, we decided to stay alone in Athens, and we sent Timothy to visit you. He is our brother and God's co-worker in proclaiming the good news of Christ. We sent him to strengthen you, to encourage you in your faith, and to keep you from being shaken by the troubles you were going through. But you know that we are destined for such troubles. Even while we were with you, we warned you that troubles would soon come. And they did, as you well know. That is why, when I could bear it no longer, I sent Timothy to find out whether your faith was still strong. I was afraid that the tempter had gotten the best of you and that our work had been useless. To imagine Paul in the least bit cold toward the church at Thessalonica is to misread the apostle entirely. He loved them so much he could not bear the thought they might be straying from God's loving presence. His passion for their well-being and their faith was hot to the touch. He loved them as a mother or father loves a newborn child. As such, Paul was protective and anxious over how they were doing. He got to the point of not being able to stand, not hearing from them. We might miss some of the pathos here because of the difference in culture of the mid-first century and the 21st century. They didn't have video calling in Paul's day. Letters sometimes took months to travel the 311 miles from Thessalonica to Athens. The words instant and communication were never linked back then. Drop a letter in the courier's pouch, sit back and bite your nails. When you care about people, it's gut-wrenching to watch their suffering, especially when you can't do anything to help. I've stood with my bride and both of my daughters when they were in labor getting ready to give birth. They were really ready. I've waited on committees deliberating on my future as a pastor. I've waited on news about a son in a war zone. I've waited on edge an eternity of a weekend for the result of a blood test the doctor ordered after telling me the strange rash on my neck was only found in one of two scenarios, people of Chinese heritage and someone with AIDS. Waiting like that is excruciating torture. The only companion to that kind of waiting room suffering is what goes on in the viewing room. There are no words, only sharing in pain. The very thought that the church at Thessalonica, Paul's pride and joy, was in trouble was cause enough to send Timothy to check on them and bring back news quickly. Paul was that church's birth father. He'd started them on the path of following Jesus, and their well-being was everything to him. Now, in case you're wondering where I'm going with this, I've just described a true pastor's heart for his people, and I can share with you from the past 40 plus years of being a pastor, it's much like a true father's heart for his family. For you today, Father's Day is yesterday's news. But my prayer for you is that you took yesterday to fully engage the connection between earthly and heavenly fatherhood. There's not much of a dividing line between the two. What God is to all of us, the source of our heritage and living, He wants all of us to be that to our families. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.